Welcome back to Sakura Beach. I have not got rid of my uh, sickness yet, so we'll still probably hear some sniveling and coughing and drinking, and voice acting won't be on point. So forgive me for that. But I want the episodes up on time. And, well, I don't listen. No. Oh. Hello, gallery. Wait, why is her next page? Oh, there it is. There's both of them. So much art to unlock. Uh, return. Okay, load. Think we're here? <coughs> I said. Sorry for coughing. Okay. The room is silent, apart from the sound of the clip. Of the clock. I turn on the television, but I actually hate, actually hate television. So all I can do is hope that those two are going to wake up soon. My hope continues to fade with every passing minute though. If I think about it logically, every minute that passes by is another minute which brings me closer to my goal. Finally, the door to the bedroom opens. Is that idiot still? Oh. Good morning, Seiji. Good morning, Ayumi! Don't forget about me, Seiji. Good morning to you too, Momoko! Why didn't you say you were awake already? I don't want to disturb you! I was probably be knocking on your door! And everything off! Wait. Is this where we are? But I STILL THINK I SHOULDN'T DO IT! What? You didn't think you... To knock on the door and say something? It's not as if you have to barge in a room or anything. <laughs> I tried locking last time and look what happened. It's smooth anyway. It's time for the beach. We have all kinds of things planned for the day. What kinds of things exactly? Oh, you'll find out eventually, Seiji. Wink wink nudge nudge. Won't you hear you me? Her face just turns red in response. Okay, we haven't been here. Good. I'll leave that was a yes. Stop standing there, silly. It's time to go. I can't offer any resistance as she begins to push me towards the door. Alright, alright! You don't have to push me! Momo could drag me to the shack. She's pounding like she does when she wants me to do something for her. I feel like ice cream. This early in the morning? Of course. The fact that it's forbidden makes it all the way. What do you mean forbidden? Why can't you have ice cream in the morning? Ice cream for all the breakfasts. You should really eat something proper before you have ice cream. You're so mean, silly. I want my ice cream. She begins to ball right on the spot. Say, gee, give me ice cream. Don't you want me to be happy? I... Ah... Uh, just make me feel really guilty. Amy doesn't seem to care at all though. You should act more dignified than that, Momoko. I know there's a crocodile tears. I know, you got me. Momoko just starts laughing the about the I should have known! But anyway... But anyway, Sully. Can we have ice cream? Can we? I... Don't see why not! Yay! I hear me! You got one too! <laughs> a shiver of dread goes down my spine as I hand the popsicle over to him. Seiji, are you okay? Looking a bit pale. Turn my back to them and shake off the feeling of dread. Don't worry about me! I'm fine! It just feels like someone stepped on my. Um. Um. Hi. This is. Well. Welcome to girls eating ice cream. And dripping ice cream in their cleavage. 
As I turn back, something in my brain starts to comprehend what I'm seeing. Both of them are already eating their ice cream, but something about it just, just doesn't seem right to me. I wonder what. Sorry, Seiji. Were you saying something? Oh no! I wasn't saying anything. I can feel my mind go blank as they continue to suck on those popsicles. Should I say something? Is something is something the matter, Seiji? She pulls the popsicle out of her mouth like in this melting shaft dripped on her hands. Long and sticky strands of it begins to drip onto her chest. Seiji, this is so dirty. Please don't ask him to look it up. But I like it. She looks down at her chest and tries to wipe the goo away, only for it to stick to her fingers. It's getting everywhere, Seiji. So dirty. How could you stand there watching as you do whatever I like to your ice cream? What? Um, I... She runs her tongue up and down the shaft, sometimes slinging it wrap around slowly. Standing there like a fool. Stop looking so undignified. All we're doing is eating ice cream after all. But... But... But what? What are you thinking of? What twisted image has your imagination created now? She shoves the entire thing in her mouth, then slowly draws it out, small globs of melted ice cream sticking to her lips. <laughs> Knowing you, you're probably imagining something else. I can just tell. I'm not... I'm not thinking of anything like that! I swear! Just finish your ice cream as quickly as you can, okay? But Seiji, it's much more fun to take your time. The less you savor every little bit. Am I going to let this single drop get away from me? She begins licking her fingers clean when... Oh my, I've got myself dirty too. I better start cleaning that off. Aumi follows my workers lead, her tongue darting in between the gaps of her fingers. Really like this ice cream though. <laughs> Wouldn't be ashamed to waste any of it, just like Momoka said. I feel like I'm going to faint. This is so embarrassing to watch. Oh my, Seiji. You look very pale. I think we need to get your heart rate higher. No, thank you! Please enjoy your ice cream! <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> Having gotten away from the shack, I brought him to the park. I managed to stock up on snacks before we left. Hey, you two! Why don't we eat before we head back into the water today? Mocha seems delighted at the idea. Yeah, we're having a picnic. We're having chips and cookies for a picnic? Couldn't we have gotten anything better than that? We should make something next time we go to the park. In fact, I've heard that the Yumi is a fantastic cook. Well, I guess I could let this full sample some of my cooking. It's okay! No one has to cook anything for me! Because I have spunk! Kitty! You don't have to have very good diet, Seiji. You need to eat something proper. Spaghetti! It's way proper! I don't want to get ingredients on the way home and make a really nice dinner. That sounds great! I shall make sure to cook some! No, no. That has to do the cooking. I don't think she wants the spaghetti. <laughs> Surely I can make my friends something else! Really? Don't worry about it, Seiji. Just let us do that work this time. Hello, brother. Sure. I am recording. Shout out to my brother. Mm -hmm. Hi. <laughs> my brother left the room. I feel like for some reason he's judging me. I don't know why. Why would someone possibly judge me playing this? But seriously, this game. These games have good plot. Not just this plot, other plot too. Funny, when I cooked for them at home, they couldn't say no. Want to make you a happy version, Seiji? You always do so much for us and we want to return the favor. I don't need to do that much, do I? Of course you do, idiot. 
It's just being humble, Ayumi. All you do is cook for them sometimes and maybe help them out with housework. <laughs> is something real that special, is it? It's nothing that special, is it? Either way, just you wait and see, Seiji. I'll cook you something so wonderful that you'll be begging me for more. I'll make it so good that you won't be able to live without it. Well, I hope they'll taste as good as you say it will! Of course it will, idiot. I'm only going to let you taste it just this once. I just wanted to cook something today. It's not like I'm doing this for you or anything. Just don't get the wrong it. Seriously. Why? I'll make you something amazing too, Seiji. I will eat like a king tonight. Well, I look forward to it then! Why don't we buy... Why don't we buy the ingredients and let him do the, him go home first? I think he'd enjoy a surprise. Great idea, Yumi. We had all sorts of nice things. Now I'm just plain worried. When was the last time that I saw my mom like this? I wouldn't dare say no to her though. <laughs> my best hope is with Ayumi. She's actually quite a great chef. Maybe she'll guide Momoko away from disaster. Remember what happened last time, right Momoko? Yeah, but I think I've gotten a lot better at cooking since then. I'll, it'll be fine Ayumi. No, you aren't buying anything I don't tell you to buy. But Ayumi, I... No, that's final. It's like I'm watching Momoko get scolded by her mother. In response, she pouts and grumpily turns away. Fine then. Thank you, Ayumi. I don't think I'd like to spend the rest of my holiday in hospital. Ouch. Anyway, even though I couldn't cook anything, let's enjoy what we have the best this week had! I reach into my bag and hold up a piece of suffering. Momoko brightens up immediately. I'm keen. You get my favorite. You got my favorite fla flavor, Seiji. Seiji flavored! Oh, mine too. Both of them happily tear open the packets of junk food I shovel and shovel it by the handful into their mouths. If there's anything I learned about them both, is that they have massive appetites. I don't bother reaching for any of those chips myself. I didn't know that I wasn't going to get anything to eat the minute I came up with this idea. <laughs> both of them have completely devoured everything I brought. That's great. All I need is a nice swim to work it out now. Now that's an idea I can agree with. The swimming part might be a bit harder for me. Don't worry, are you me? We'll have more swimming lessons today! There will be time for everything! That... That would be nice, AG. Anyway, let's get going. Why is all the time sitting around and talking? Good point. We're already eaten. Well, they've already eaten anyway. Oh, it's filter! <coughs> There's no race I'm going to lose to you, Seiji. I'm not participating in any race. Tell you what, Ayumi. Whoever wins the race gets to. Celine's own whisper something to Ayumi's ear. <laughs> gets to what? K K. Now, now, don't tell Seiji about it. It was a small surprise. The surprise. Not sure if I want to discover it. Something that starts with K-I. It must be... Going to the chiropractor. I got it. Come on, Ayumi. You aren't going to have any fun if you stay on the sand. Despite her hesitation, hesitation Ayumi stumbles into the ocean. Ayumi still seems to be very awkward in the water. I think my lesson would helped her a bit, but not enough to for her to be confident. <laughs> what do you have to do, Ayumi? Just enjoying the water. Why? You still look really, really nervous! <coughs> Are you still not comfortable in the ocean? It's not that. I'm just thinking about something. Something? You don't ever ask a girl what she's thinking, idiot. It's private matter. If you really want to know, work it out yourself. Okay, okay, I can take it. Can you? Can you really, idiot? That's not nice. Well, I like to think that I can. We'll see how that works out. Were you so upset at the moment, Ayumi? Well, nothing. 
Laughing at all, she lost the competition. Squirrel! As she wanders off, I can see a devious smile on Momoko's face. <laughs> I look away for a moment. Seiji, there's something you could do for me while we're here. What is? Well, I wasn't expecting to see that. Just lying down, her top unfastened from the back. She also look, she also looks back at my f me, at me with the next expectant gaze. That was them fucking up, not me. What? What is it, Momoko? Could you please put the sunscreen on my back? I can't reach back there. What else you want me to do it? Julia, you begin! No, no. Can't you see that she's having fun in the water? <laughs> if you call being terrified of waves and staying in the shallows fun, since she's busy, you're the only one who can do it. So won't you, please, for your friend? Come on, Seiji. We're friends, so it's fine. I guess I have no choice. Celeste has a small squeak as the sunscreen hits her back, making her squirm around uncomfortably. That's so cold, Seiji. Please start rubbing it on as soon as you can. Make it all warm, please. I hope I don't put on too much or too little. That could be enough for her back, I think. She contently lies there, seemingly anticipating my actions. Also gently, I put my hands on her back, being extremely careful where I put them. One slip could get me into a lot of trouble here. While well, Momoko isn't as grumpy as Amy is, it could still end badly if I'm too careless. As a being trouble along her back, I swear that she's purring like a cat would. That feels great, Seiji. You've got some time with your hands. I'm concentrating way too much to think of a response. Slowly, up and down, along her back, up to her shoulders. It's almost like a massage. Going to make something very someone very happy when they want massages one day. <laughs> like who? <coughs> she could be anyone. I think she'd be happier happy either way. I'm losing my concentration. One of my fingers near his lips. Easy there, Seiji. You wouldn't want those hands to slip, would you? I'm just doing this because I'm her friend. I don't have any ulterior motives for this. I can't possibly have any ulterior motives for this. She happily lies there with her eyes closed, waiting for me to continue my motions. Don't stop, Seiji. There's still so much more that needs to be done. Begrudgingly, I accept the task and continue. <laughs> I have to clear my mind and think about something else. No, don't think about that. Just remain focused and don't let your hands slip. Just a little bit more to do, Seiji. You're almost there. Oh no, my hand slipped. I was too slippery on the sunscreen. Momoko lets out a small moan. D don't touch me there. I notice that my hand has slipped over her back and is grabbing. Seiji, it's making me feel weird. You pervert. I desperately try to pull my hand out but it's stuck underneath her chest. All the wriggling just causes her to squirm. Stop that. This is so embarrassing. I managed to pull it out with great effort. I collapse onto the sand, pant from the mental exhaust. Momoko, on the other hand, looks very pleased. She refastens her top and seemingly bounces up. That was very nice, Eiji. You enjoyed it too, didn't you? Well, I... Um... Is this going to be the last time where I get scolded no matter what I say? I don't know why she's asking that either. It was just something I had to do for her, wasn't it? Just as a friend and a because no one else could do it. Maybe you could do that for me tomorrow too. I'm sure you would. Absolutely not! Why would you let, even let me anywhere near her? <coughs> Especially to rub sunscreen on her back. Aww, you're no fun at all. And with that, I'm gonna end up this episode. Crazy Momoko. Save. Boop. Yes. Wait. Who the hell would make the order? Like, this is slot 5, not slot 3. What the hell? Okay, that's not a okay place. Where's the recording place? So, thank you for watching this episode. Snow about sniveling and coughing and shit like that. I'm sick.
not much I can do about it. So thank you for watching this episode, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.